guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Saturday, June. <laughs> um, I think the 11th or the 10th. 10th or 11th, it's one of those. I just got out of the shower. My face is really red because I just got out of the shower. And also, I forgot to put sunblock on earlier. <laughs> but we went to hiking a little bit this morning or this evening. And also, I wanted to say real quick, this is from a TV show called Stranger Things. I saw, I realized I was wearing this and I didn't want someone who doesn't know what this show is to think that this was something bad because <laughs> it's got like a bad word right there. But um, it's from Stranger Things. It's the Dungeons and Dragons club in that show. And I'm a huge fan of that show. So I had to get one of these shirts when I seen it. It's a Funko Pop one. That's why it's got this, this little guy on there because he's the Funko Pop one. <laughs> Anyways, that was my disclaimer. So I pulled out this scrap ball um, that I got gifted in my last advent swap. It was with... Um, Beverly from Beverly Cra Crochet Beverly Crafts Beverly's Crafts I can't remember now <laughs> the wording I'll link her below though if you want to check her out we did a swap last uh, Christmas time of scrap balls so I pulled this one out and it's it's section it's like um it's not variegated what's it called it's like self striping I guess so it's yellow and purple but I'm gonna start another scrap project just because I wanted to have something to work on when I do crocheting chats because I haven't done those in forever and I need like a mindless project to do that. That's what this is. If I haven't said that already. <laughs> but I thought I'd chat with you guys and work on this. I just literally put my um, slip hook, slip knot <laughs> on the hook. I'm using an eye hook which is a 5.5 right? 5.5 millimeter. It's just a Susan Bates soft grip that I love. I love these ones. And this is worsted weight scrap yarn. So um, I'm just gonna, I think I'm probably just gonna do I might do some kind of granny stitch thing. The last scrap blanket I made was that really cool, like granny, granny at one um, that was wavy. It was a, a ripple stitch, wave stitch. <laughs> but this one, I'm just gonna do like a mindless, either solid half double crochets or like a granny stitch or something like that, I don't know. But I wanted to get on here and chat with you guys. So I did just take a shower, so my hair's all wet and my face is shiny because I put cream on my face. <laughs> Um, I got super sweaty because we ended up doing a strenuous hike. It was only half a mile and I didn't do the whole thing because I had sissy attached to me. But um, I used my judgment. I went as far as I thought was safe for me to go with her. The rest of the way was really uh, wet. It was because like a waterfall goes over the trail for pretty much the rest of it. And I didn't feel comfortable going with her strapped to me because I was afraid if I slipped, you know, I could hurt her really bad. So I just kind of, I mean, her just hung out where I stopped at and then we ended up walking back up to the top and we waited for Jesse and Devin. So I did take some video clips and some pictures and I'll insert them at some point for you guys to see. But what I did is, um, we haven't been able to spend a lot of quality time with Jesse since the baby's been born because you know, she's younger and needs more attention. Um, so I wanted to do a day for him. I was planning on leaving my, my baby, the baby <laughs> with my sister, but I didn't want to drive. She lives, about 30 minutes away from us and with gas prices so expensive right now I didn't want to drive all the way to her house twice today to drop sissy off and then pick her back up so I just decided we'd go ahead and take her with us but I would just deal with her and um you know we see how it went so last night before bed I asked Deb Jesse what he wanted to do today so he wanted to paint which we haven't done that yet we're gonna do that here a little bit <laughs> or we might, we might actually do that tomorrow uh because he likes painting and he wanted to go to the gas station and get snacks because we do that a lot but we'll drive to the gas station and get um some drinks and like beef jerky or something and uh, he likes doing that so we do that a lot and he wanted to go to a park and explore so what he meant was like hiking so uh that's what we did today so we, we went we had to run up to my mom's to i dropped her off a label that she needed printed because she doesn't have a printer uh, so i printed it for her and took it up there and then we went to a gas station and got our snacks and then we drove to the park. Okay, let's make sure he won't come in here. We drove to a park. I'm still just chaining, by the way. I don't know how, I'm just gonna make it to the link that I think it's good. <laughs> uh, I'm not counting or anything. That's why I like these mindless projects because you don't have to worry about numbers. Um, what was the thing? Okay, but we, we drove to the park and it was packed, all the playgrounds, but we weren't going to the playground. We were going specifically to a certain place that had a hiking trail that we wanted to do. I mean, Devin's done it before and it's actually changed a lot since we did it. Um, so we parked and it was still pretty full there, but it was mostly, um, I don't know how to say it, hipsters. A lot of them smelled like, uh, uh, <laughs> 
I smelt like this this stuff that people smoke to uh, make them happy. <laughs> I don't want to say the word. I don't want to like get banned or demonetized or whatever. But they smelt funny. <laughs> and uh, a lot of them had dogs, which was cool. As long as they pick up after them. I hate it when people take their dogs to parks and let them use the bathroom on the trail and they don't pick it up. Because then me and my kids walk through there and step in it. And it's just a mess. <laughs> but anyways... So we went to it and uh, we went hiking and there's a bunch of grills. I told Devin next time we come we need to pack a cooler with uh, and charcoals and stuff so we could grill some like hot dogs and make a whole day of it, you know, just hang out there because there's a bathroom there. And um, they got water bottle fill up thingies <laughs> stations and uh, stuff like that. Maybe I'll make this one huge and it can just be a, a forever ongoing. Like I can make a giant scrap blanket. I think I might do that. I don't know. We'll just keep going. <laughs> but, um, so we had fun. We hiked it. The, the first one was about half a mile, like I said, but I didn't do the whole thing. Devin and Jesse walked down in it, and then they walked around while in it, uh, where all the waterfalls were and stuff. And, uh, we, we all got a little wet, because part of the trail, you have to go, like, under little parts that's, uh, it's not really waterfalls. I guess, well, I guess it's kind of waterfalls, but they're little all over the place. It's where the natural springs are coming out of the side of the hill where the trail is so you get you get kind of wet walking through it and it was way more strenuous this time than it used to be when we used to do it it was just ground that you were walking on but i guess because of erosion from all the waterfalls um since last time we and Devin did it which was back before we had either of the kids <laughs> uh so it's been a while uh they put in all kinds of like textured grading so um so that you don't slip and uh, handrails and stuff, and, and you know, it's more accessible now for people, but it's also makes it steeper. You know, it's a different thing walking just on earth than it is something that's straight, <laughs> like a ramp, but it had boards to step on, and it was, it was interesting, especially when I had a 15 pound baby strapped to my chest. <laughs> but um, we had fun, and June didn't throw a fit at all. She just looked around and enjoyed it, and she didn't mind getting wet. And uh, towards the end of the hike, she ended up falling asleep in her carrier. It was really cute. But uh, the whole front of it was just covered in drool because <laughs> she was drooling on it. But we hiked the first trail that was um, about half a mile, but I didn't do the whole thing. Let's see here. Hmm. Is that good enough? Should I get a little bit bigger? I think I'll go a little bit bigger. I'm not going to end up making this ginormous. <laughs> but, um,. And then we walked out another one. The first one, I can't remember what it was called. Oh, it was the Blue Hole Trail. Um, and then we went to one, I think it was called Eagle Point or something like that. It's a trail that's kind of shaped like a lasso. You walk out of it and then it makes a circle. And then you can walk back down the same way you came in. And it was 0.7 all the way out there, mile, the circle. And then it would have been a little bit less than 0.7 back. I believe we walked all the way out to uh, like halfway around the circle and then we decided not to do the whole circle because the, the whole circle crosses over two waterways and we didn't want to do that with the kids even though jesse's feet were all wet at this time anyways <laughs> and so was Devin's. but so we went all the way out there and then we walked back and on the way we saw some really cool uh, trees they have like plaques um with different types of trees and like then facts about the trees on there which was cool and then we saw a bunch of mushrooms and different funguses and stuff that I was pointing out to Jesse. Jesse found a feather. I don't know if he brought it home or not. Uh, but it was like a buzzard feather, I think. They're all over the place down there because those buzzards roost all in that area. Um, I'm going to say that's good. I don't know how long it is. One, two, three. I think I'll do half double crochet because it's easier for me to do that quick. So there I am. I just started going back. <laughs> um... So we had a lot of fun, and then when we got back to the truck, we started the truck up to um, let it cool off, you know, because it had been sitting in the sun. And we changed Sissy's diaper, and then we made her a meal, and Devin was sitting and feeding her, and I walked over to the bathroom uh, that was there. And we, we just kind of lingered outside the truck for a little while, letting Sissy eat her milk, and uh, letting Jesse run around and play a little bit while we let the truck cool down good. And then we loaded up, and on the, on the way home, we ordered pizza from Little Caesars, because it's the cheapest place to get pizza right now. <laughs> and uh, while we are waiting for it to get ready, we went to a school here that has a playroom, and we parked there for just, we were only there for about 10 minutes maybe, to let Jesse just play a little bit. Um, I, I walked around with Sissy and the stroller, 
so she could, um, you know, just chill. <laughs> she was very tired at that point because she, she fell asleep in the um, carrier. But, you know, we woke her up to change her diaper and uh, feed her. And then she was awake for a little bit in the truck and then started to fall asleep. And that's when we parked. <laughs> so she was a little grumpy. But, uh, and then on the way, we went to his pizza after that. And we came home. We ate. And uh, they're in there now goofing off and playing. Jesse's still, the other two things he wants to do is paint and do board games. So we're going to do board games in a little bit. So Devin and I wanted to record real fast because I didn't get to make a video yesterday. Um, so I took a shower because I was sweaty <laughs> really bad. I'm super out of shape ever since being pregnant. I told them we gotta start hiking more like we used to because uh, being in nature is one of my most favorite things. I absolutely hate living in an apartment without a yard because I've, I grew up like a wild nature, nature child. Me and my brother was outside 24 seven pretty much exploring the woods and building huts in the woods and riding four wheelers and stuff like that. And I was, when I was little, I was one of those kids that um, it helped that I was raised in the 90s because, you know, technology wasn't that big at the time. Um, I was very imaginative, so I built fairy houses and I, like, you know, role played in my head, pretending that I was, you know, an elf or something, you know, all the time. Or that I was, I, we used to watch Survivor, so I used to pretend I was a Survivor a lot. Or I would pretend I was Amish, <laughs> which I liked. Uh, so I'd actually take clothes, my clothes outside and wash them by hand and with buckets and stuff. <laughs> and, um, I miss doing stuff like that, you know. Like, obviously not the plane, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't wash my laundry outside anymore, because I understand the convenience of a washing machine. But I miss just, like, being outside and getting dirty. It's hard to do in an apartment. And there's so many people, because we have one, two, three, four, five complexes here in our cul-de-sac. <laughs> and so there's people constantly everywhere. And I'm not a very people-y person. So I look forward to one day having a yard that is a little bit more private that we can set out in and have bonfires and the kids can play and I can just chill and crochet outside. <laughs> but until then, we'll just take advantage of our parks, which we do, we go to the parks a lot. That's one good thing about Devin being off random weekdays is we can go on days when it's not that full. But we had fun. Um, we definitely wanna plan again, like I said, to take grill and stuff because the park has picnic tables and charcoal grills. I've never charcoal grilled. <laughs> I've, you know, been around people who did it, but I've never done it myself and neither has Devin. So it'll be a learning curve, but, um, we thought it'd be fun to take some, you know, hot dogs and maybe some burger patties and just make some food and hang out and let Jesse play until he's ready to pass out and hike a little and maybe even swim a little, uh, cause there's a swimming area at that park. We actually drove down there just to see how it was and there was a ton of people there obviously <laughs> and the water was really high up it was like flooded a little bit because it had rained a lot this past week um it was nice it was a lot of fun it's fun to get out and just enjoy being a family <laughs> so I, I took a shower i went there to take a shower and there was a brown recluse on the shower curtain i think they're coming out of the vent in the ceiling uh, i found one in the bathroom again the other day on the back of the door where we hang our towels there was one on the towels so I killed the one the other day and then I had Devin come kill the other one because I was already unclothed and vulnerable. <laughs> so I had him come get that one and kill it for me. Um, so tomorrow I was planning on doing sewing anyways to finish up those bags. Um, I'm going to send Devin, if the weather's nice, to, with the kids over to his dad's or my mom's. One of the two. <laughs> whoever's not busy. Um, and then I'm going to spray the house down with the this poison stuff that we use that works really good. I'm going to go outside and spray around the windows and doors. And on the inside, I'm going to spray around the windows and doors and the closets and the sinks and things where any little critter could get in and around the air vents. Cause I think that's where most of them come from here. Our air vents here are in the ceiling. They're not in the ceiling, but they're in the, the walls on the top. <laughs> so they're basically in the ceiling. Um, I think that's where they mostly come from is in those vents. And I want to do that without the kids here so that the poison has time to dry before they're here messing around. And then I can spray the house down and then go in there and sew. And uh, they can come home and, you know, it'll be done, hopefully. That stuff works really well. We bought it first two years ago. I can't remember what it's called, but it's in our bedroom closet. 
um, and usually by the time I start seeing spiders around this time is when I spray it and then I find a bunch of dead spiders laying everywhere. I guess they get it and then they just like wander off because they're sick and delusional <laughs> and then they die. So I clean them all up and then we usually don't see any more bugs. Um, I'll spray the back porch really good because there's usually a lot of ants out there. And uh, I'll just make sure I spray the heck out of everything. Get all those bugs out of here. Okay, so that's how far it is so far. <laughs> um, and it's my little cake. So it's, it's kind of hollow. I just smushed it in. But yeah, so that's what we did today. Um, I got a couple videos I've been wanting to record. I just haven't had time to sit down and do it. And I need to do that. Never have I ever tag. And I need to do my May roundup. I got both of those all this stuff ready for those. I just have to have a moment to sit down and do it. Um, so far June's been good. I don't hear her crying on him. She's in there naked except her diaper because she, she gets hot really bad. So as soon as we came home, after she woke up because she fell asleep again. After she woke up, I uh, stripped her down to let her little body cool off. Yeah, we had a really good day today. Our dinner was pizza. I don't even know what time it is. It was 3.30ish, I think, when we were leaving the park. So it's probably 4 or something, or close to 5 maybe now. Um, and we still got plenty of pizza left over, so we'll eat that later if we get hungry. And we'll, we'll have it tomorrow for lunch, I guess. But yeah, I gotta go to grocery shopping tomorrow. <laughs> Just a little. I did a grocery order yesterday. But our, my Walmart said it was out of chicken breast, except the Purdue kind, which is th almost $4 a pound. So... I did not want to buy that because our, like the store brand is $1.99 a pound. And usually when it says it's out of stock, if you go in the store, it's there. I don't know why it says it's out of stock. So I'm going to go tomorrow, try to get a big thing of chicken breast and I need to get some more ground beef because we use, we don't have any meat in our freezer right now except chicken nuggets. Um, we used it all up, which is weird because normally I have something in there. But I've been trying to be better at grocery shopping to spend less money. Um... So I've been trying to use a lot of what we have and plan our dinners off of that. I've been doing pretty good so far. So I need to get that. And there's something else I needed to pick up. Oh, Jesse wanted some mints. He wanted some of the green mints. They're like spearmint mints. <laughs> so I need to remember to pick him up some of that tomorrow too. Um, we'll do that either tomorrow or Monday. I don't know if we have anything else to do tomorrow other than I do need to sew. I probably can finish those bags tomorrow. So those bags might be in the shop Monday evening. Maybe. Probably for sure Tuesday. I could probably get them all done in pictures and all that by Tuesday. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah. So I'm sitting here just crocheting away. Let me know down in the comments what you guys did today. If you did anything fun. What you had for dinner. Or what you're going to have for dinner. Because I like knowing. Because if someone posts something good. It gives me an idea of what to make. <laughs> we usually stick to the same things. Like I have. Like a binder with like maybe 40 recipes in it. And we just kind of cycle those around. I really need to start trying to eat better. Because I've gained a lot of weight since the baby was born. And I really need to start exercising again. Because. Not just because of me gaining weight. But because I feel so stiff all the time. Just from sitting around so much. Um, I'm trying to wait till June can entertain herself more. Because right now she still wants to be held all the time. But I'm thinking once she can sit up. And uh, start crawling around and stuff. She'll be able to entertain herself with toys. So I could you know squeeze in 30 minute workouts here and there. I really miss it. I, I love the dance workouts. I really love Richard Simmons. And I used a lot of his workouts back in 2020 when I lost 30 pounds. Because um, they're fun. You know, it's fun to listen to music and dance. And then you're watching all the people on the screen dance too. It's just fun. And Jesse's still with me. It's so fun. But, uh, yeah. It'd be fun to just hike a lot too to lose weight. She's fussing now. She's getting mad at him. I'm almost done with this first row, and then I think I'll probably go ahead and call it quits. It's about 20 minutes right now, and he's probably like, where is she? <laughs> but yeah, I gotta remember to get some water bottles off the truck. I left them on the truck. And I'm off there. 
Uh, I guess we're gonna play some board games. We'll probably play Monopoly and maybe Candyland. Those are his two favorite games to play. And he wants to paint, but I already took a shower, so we might have to wait until tomorrow to paint because it's a big process. You know, I gotta lay out drop cloths, get all the paint and brushes and water and paper and everything down. And uh, deal with it all. It just usually makes a mess. <laughs> Jesse's very messy. He has a bad habit of wiping stuff on his shirt. Right now his shirt has peaches sauce all over it. It's probably stained. But it's okay. Because he's just a kid. <laughs> so, and he's not going to be a kid forever. So I want to make these memories while I can. Because it won't be long before he'll be a grown man living his own life. And I will be sad. Although I am looking forward to being in my 40s. I think I'm going to have a lot more fun in my 40s. Because my kids will be old enough to do their own things. And that'll leave me to be able to do whatever I want. <laughs> so I'm actually looking forward to my 40s. I'm almost done with this first row. This blanket is going to take me forever to make probably. But that's the fun thing. I can just make videos like this. And uh, chat and crochet away. Because I'm just doing half double crochet. Maybe I'll change it up every now and then do a different stitch. Just for the heck of it. Who knows. I think he's getting her to sleep. A few more stitches. Oops, I missed that one up. I don't think I'll be entering anything into the fair this year. I was telling Devin that the other day. Because I've just been so busy with the kids. This will be my first year in seven years that I haven't entered anything. Alright, finished the first row. So I made it kind of long, but I was trying to make a bigger blanket. I tend to make smaller blankets, so I want to make a big one. It might be really, it might be too big. It's like a full-size blanket size, maybe. I don't know. But I used most of the cake. There's still a good little amount in there. So, yeah. I guess I'll put this in a bag and I'll save it for in a few days or a week or a month. <laughs> whenever I get around to make another one of these videos. And then I will pull it back out and chat with you guys about whatever I do that day. <laughs> I'm going to hop off here and um, I'll if I haven't already inserted the pictures and clips from today, I'll do it now. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.